Hello Scorpio and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for November 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month's reading, I am using the Healing Light Tarot by Christopher Butler. Okay, so your moon cycles this month are new moon on the 7th, new moons are new starts, new beginnings, resets and your full moon is on the 23rd and full moons are things being revealed to you, you gaining some insight on a situation. Okay, these are general messages so this may or may not resonate with you. If you don't find resonance, I would encourage you to check out your moon and rising sign also. And my sun sign is Scorpio. Okay, we have the five of wands followed by the six of pentacles. What is the message for my wonderful Scorpios from Spirit for November 2018? Thank you. Whoop. We'll have to retrieve that one. And it is the Seven of Wands. Okay. Our first card is the Five of Wands. Five, the number of struggle, the number of challenge, crisis, also the number of transformation. Here I see you, Scorpio. Although you are standing on one leg, you are totally balanced. In fact, you are anchored, rooted, and in the most perfect position to be able to deliver the most fantastic roundhouse to your opponent. Whatever the challenge or the struggle this month, Scorpio, you're going to stand strong. Your strength of character is going to shine through. Your personal power is going to carry you through. You are not going to allow anyone to distract you, to pull you from your path, to stop you doing what it is that you want to do and going where it is you want to go. Mm. Okay, next we have the Six of Pentacles. Six, the number of balance, harmony, unity. And there is the scales here. And this gentleman is handing pentacles. To this young lady. This is giving and receiving. This is balancing out the scales. This is you this month being in the position to be able to give to others less fortunate than yourselves. This doesn't just have to be of, of finances, it can be of your time. But I do see you giving of yourselves this month Scorpio. Being charitable, maybe donating to charity, but you are balancing yourself out. I'm really feeling you are mastering, mastering your emotions, mastering yourselves. And there's a true harmony taking place, a perfect unification taking place. Oh, okay. Next we have the seven of wands. Seven is the number of spirituality, of magic, of ambitions being realised, a, a job well done. This is you, you've been 
diligent and you are looking forward to your future I'm feeling you are coming into your own personal power all your desires I feel are coming true and Scorpio is all about wants is all about desires um, I'm feeling I'm feeling a sense of victory, I have to say, Scorpio, but I'm feeling it's over your emotions. I really feel that you are um, almost even welcoming crisis and challenge now to see where it's taking you. Um, I, I really feel you're rooted. Um, I see you anchored. I see you um, not allowing others to distract you, I am hearing, from your path your destination not allowing others to interfere i am hearing and you're balancing yourselves out this is you this month mastering yourselves mastering your emotions feeling good about yourselves in a good enough position to be feeling charitable charitable to others giving and receiving and you are feeling I'm really feeling personal power I'm feeling strength of character I'm feeling passions ambitions desires your dreams and goals all waiting already there to be achieved because you are being diligent you are sticking to your path you are sticking to your truth and look also Scorpio I'm noticing five six and seven I really feel it's like an ascension and you are really ascending because I really feel there is a mastery here now over your emotions not allowing struggle crisis challenge to to knock you off your feet and this is coming from you mastering your emotions balancing your yourselves out your polarity and from doing that you are now feeling ambitious there's a, a passion about you you are ready to achieve your goals dreams wants and desires oh scorpio i like this okay who is calling me it is the witch's wisdom what is the message for my wonderful friend Scorpio from Spirit for November thank you Wow we get you rebirth this is exactly what you've done my friends there is a new Scorpio <laughs> in the house um, I really see a big change in you, my friends. Um, a new Scorpio. Um, let me just find this first. You have rebirthed yourselves, not allowing your emotions to rule you, and you are now the ruler of your emotions. You've mastered yourselves, I feel, Scorpio. Your rebirth. Like the celebrated midwinter sun, it is time to make your ascent. You are growing stronger, and an exalted journey awaits. Yule honours the return of the sun's power, a celebration of its rebirth. Your battle has been won, and you can take your deserved place next to the winning Oak King, who reigns supreme at Yule. 
over the Holly King until they meet again at the solstice of summer. So spruce yourself up, for Yule brings great news of impending rebirth, for a new way of life is just around the corner. Rebirth can come in many forms, such as a, he, a heading in a new direction, promotion, a new job, new perception, empowerment or enhanced connection with the old ways. Whatever it is you have been asking for comes to pass when Yule arrives. So be expectant and positive as rebirth accompanies you through to the other side where you will emerge wiser and stronger than ever before. Your past is truly behind you. The difficulties you've endured have made you stronger and wiser. A new way of life beckons. Shine your light brightly. Your wishes and dreams are coming true. Relax in front of a log fire. You waned now growing like the sun, who's born again, the light has won. With your log placed upon the fire, rebirth delivers your heart's desire. This is you now, Scorpio, rebirthed, reborn, renewed. This is you mastering your emotions, I am feeling. You are not afraid of crisis or struggle. You are balanced and harmonious. Um, I'm feeling content, satisfied, happy with yourself. It's making you feel charitable, charitable to, to others. And you are now going to be um, realising your heart's desires. And um, the first line did say, uh, like the celebrated midwinter sun, it's time to make your ascent. Five, six, seven. I felt you were ascending. I feel you are ascending. I feel the rebirth, the re, the reborn, the renewal. Um, okay. Who is calling me now? Mm. I am drawn to healing with the angels, Doreen Virtue. Is the message for my wonderful friend Scorpio from Spirit for November? Ooh, thank you. Oh, well, there's three there. I'm going to take the top one. This has been happening quite a bit. <laughs> oh, wow! So, new beginnings all round, then, my friends. New start, new you new more balanced you, new more you who are, I really feel mastered your emotions, not allowing others to, you know, you're not reacting the same way. People have been guaranteeing that you'll, you'll react, um, come out with your sting in the tail. Um, and I feel all of that's gone. I feel there's a real balance taking place. You've mastered your emotions. You're not... You're not upset or bothered. You're not reacting now. You're not reacting now to struggle, crisis or challenge. You are standing firm, anchored and rooted to the spot. And you are now having a sense of being able to achieve your dreams, your wants, your goals and your desires. And I do see it all coming to you, Scorpio. Wow. OK. We'll finish with a wonderful trusty steed, Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs. <clears throat> what is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for November 2018? What does Scorpio need to know from Spirit? For November 2018, what is the message for Scorpio from Spirit for the month of November 2018? Thank you. Oh, wow. So I've been saying it all along. 
balance, take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. So the message really is about balance, balancing yourself out, mastering your emotions, um, your polarities um, can be achieved by taking time out and relaxing, can be achieved also by setting healthy boundaries, not allowing people to get you into situations of conflict, challenge or crisis um, and indulging a little more or less, feeling charitable, <laughs> knowing that you're Wants and desires, your goals, dreams, passions are all achievable. This is a new beginning this month for you, Scorpio. You are rebirthed, reborn, new start, new you. Wow. Wow, my friends. Well, I for one absolutely love that for a message. Thank you, Spirit. And thank you for your likes, your shares. Um, welcome you subscribers, thank you so much for your support and thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments, do keep them coming. And if any of you would like to book a private reading with me, get your own personal message from Spirit, you can do so by contacting me at the email address in the description box below. Well, I wish you all a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed month. Until next month, my friends, goodbye.